Hello, I was curious, is it possible to develop locally on a Raspberry Pi device? I tried in the past to develop on a Raspberry Pi 4 with 8 gigab memory. I didn't have lots of luck. It was a little bit delayed. It took uh, between 2-3 seconds to load web pages. And also, uh, it was kind of getting stuck if I had a few browser tabs open and doing a few tasks together. Today I wanted to try the Raspberry Pi 5 with 8GB RAM. This, this is a model I ordered. It's a Raspberry Pi 5, 8GB. It's a little bit out of stock now, but should be back in a month or so, I see here. Uh, the case I'm using is this case. It has an active cooler. The reason I'm using a case, you could see here, currently it's 57 Celsius. The temperature of the CPU without an active cooler it will be probably 180, 85, 75, which could slow things down at some point. So I like the active cooler. All right. So today, what we'll do, we will set up a Next.js app that uses WordPress as a backend. So for in order to install NVM Node.js, we will use NVM. How we set NVM? The reason we would like to use NVM and not install Node directly because with NVM we could change versions very easily. And also we get NPM installed already. We don't need to install NPM separately. So let's install it. All right, we copy this command into the command here. The reason we're using NVM is because we can use different versions. So let's take a look. NVM, not found. Oh, we gotta add this file, or we, or we should just paste it again. All right, copy, paste, and we have NVM. Let's see which version of Node we have. We don't have yet. Any node, let's do nvm install. Uh, we want 18. This will install node 18. All right, node v, and we have node 18 installed. So the first step we completed, we have now Node and the Raspberry Pi. Now that we have Node installed, let's move on and install Docker. So in order to install Docker, we have here the steps. Let's go into Docker documentation. And we have a script to install. Where is it script? This is a script. All right, let's copy the script, paste it here. Let's do clear. Let's paste. Hmm, it added some stuff we don't want. We have the script now. Let's run it. This may take a bit of time. Meanwhile, let's move on to another step. We need we want to have a visual code to install visual code. It's really simple. We just need to run this command sudo up install code. Let's run it to the new tab while the installation of Docker is running. sudo apt install code okay well we, now we have a uh, visual code uh, let's see where the docker installation is i think it's ready let's do docker v and we have docker installed now so we have node and we have docker 
now we can we can move on to the next step which is to install the actual software we want to run we have one more thing to, to install which is docker compose which will allow us to set pieces of uh, infrastructure with docker let's install that as well I have the command here it's simply sudo apt get install docker compose slash y clear all right we'll let it continue and now we will go to our next step which is installation to install not this the next WordPress starter, which is an, which is the next project, which is set to get data from WordPress. Let's install it with npx. We will open a new tab here. Yes, we want to install project name. Let's call it next WP. Let's see if we complete it here. This is completed. All right. VS Code completed too this is still in process however we could already move on uh, okay let's see maybe it's ready we could already move to the next step of setting the wordpress and docker so we have here a sample this is in the official doc docker documentation we have an example of wordpress we want wordpress and mysql Where is our file? Let's take a look at this compose file. So in this service we have a database and we have WordPress, which is all we need. So we will Alright. We will copy this let's create a new folder we'll open a new tab we will create a new folder we'll call it next now we'll open it in a visual code Let's create a new file. We'll call it docker compose.yaml. Docker compose.yaml. We'll paste what we copied before save it we could open our terminal inside here it's a little bit more convenient and now we could do docker compose up the ah we need to do sudo docker compose i think it's sudo docker compose we got it so now it will pull the files that docker needs in order to run wordpress let's take a look if we complete it here the next.js project seems to be ready 
So let's access it. It's in the folder next WP. CD next. We will open this in another visual composer. Alright, so we have here all the files of the Next.js project. We will need to create a file here, as we could see. So if you look inside the Next.js project, the only step we need to do is add the URL of WordPress inside the file called end of that local. Let's, let's add this meanwhile. Here's our VS code. So it's dot end of dot local. Alright. Dot end dot local. We still don't have the URL, but we will have it in a bit. Which other steps we need to do? Let's take a look at the requirements of WordPress for this Next.js project. So the requirements is WordPress, which we're installing, and a plugin called WP GraphQL. So we will install the plugin right after we will get WordPress to work. Let's see if WordPress is running already. It's in this tab. Let's find the folder, not here. Was another terminal? It's here now. All right, I guess it's completed the installation, the Docker pool. Ah, okay, we run it inside here, so it's it's completed, and now it should be up. So once it's completed, let's take a look into Docker documentation. WordPress sample. You can actually look in the file itself. You can see here that WordPress is set to run on port 80. So if you'll open localhost 80, we should see WordPress. Let's try. Localhost 80. And here we have WordPress. Let's install it quickly. Next, WP, min. Obviously don't use this uh, password and prod. Here we're only testing on our local machine, so the password doesn't matter really. Let's log in. All right, the only step we need to do now is install the plugin WP GraphQL. Let's find it, WP Graph. Mm, I guess it's in one word. WP Graph. Let us type GraphQL. And here is WP GraphQL. All right, the plugin is installed and activated. Let's modify one post, just so we could see in the front end. Hello world, and Raspberry Pi 5. All right. Now we know that the URL is localhost 80. This is basically our URL. So we could go back into our front end project. Instead of wordpress.com, we could paste our URL.
All right. Now we could actually run the project. So let's open the terminal right here. Uh, I'm, we probably don't need npm install, but let's see anyway. npm install. Seems like everything is ready. So to start, uh, next project, I believe it's npm run dev. npm run dev. Okay. Now let's open the URL and see if we had any luck. I didn't open the URL. Let's go back here. And here it's trying to load the next JS app. And here we have our next application. It's next WP. This is a site title that we had. This is our title of the post. So as we could see, it works pretty nicely. We have your next JS project. It works. Pages are loading. We have here WordPress that it loads. You could click around. You could change things. All of this in a Raspberry Pi. So this means we could actually develop on a machine that cost uh, 80 bucks. We don't need a Mac. Uh, it's possible to local develop on these types of machine. So it's really cool how the Raspberry 5 has way more power than the Raspberry 4. Thanks for watching. Feel free to ask any question in the comments. Thank you.